It's all eyes on the Euro 2012 qualifiers this week. Jonathan, we have an intriguing match in Portugal. Portugal, Denmark. Portugal under huge pressure here, and Denmark pays 6.25 to win away. Yeah, it looks a big price actually, doesn't it, it does. Dan? And as you say, I wouldn't say the Portuguese are an absolute meltdown, but no. they've had to replace the coach, yeah. so they've got to have a rookie coach, Bento, in for this game. Yeah, all kind of problems. Scoring, goals has been a problem uh, Well, that, that four all draw at home to Cyprus. Absolutely Amazing fantastic. Match for the fans, <laughs> the neutrals, yeah. but not so good for the Portuguese pulse rate. And they were leading there fourth, and Absolutely. then lost it at the end. Yeah, or at and, least lost and, the then they, and then they lost in, mm. in Norway, so the pressure really is on the Portuguese. Yeah, and Norway in Group H are flying there. They are actually leading the group with two straight wins. Yeah. Norway playing Cyprus away at the same time. But that's if not Portugal lose, yes. then, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. it's yeah. then not Norway. What Absolutely. do you say about Portugal? 155 on Portugal to win? Um, yes, whether it's good value given the sort of uh, scenario that they're in, I'm not too sure. But Denmark, they're going to be without Nicholas Bentner, yeah. makes a big difference. They sort of flattered to deceive a lot of the World Cup, didn't mm. they? They looked very good at times yeah. and they looked pretty average at other times. Mm. I would think the Portuguese would surely get a bit of a bounce from having a new manager. Yeah. Normally you get that quite a I would have thought so, yeah. 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 So maybe we'll go for Portugal day 155, we'll see what the narrow, dates say. Narrow yeah. Portuguese win. Yeah. Yeah. In Germany we're looking forward to a very hot game. Well, absolutely. Germany, Turkey. Yes, so I think a lot of um, fans out there will be looking at the, the card markets, the, the red cards, <laughs> everything. This is volatile, isn't yeah. it? I mean, you know, and of course, the Turkish have got an amazing fan base yeah. in Germany. A lot of Turks, you mm -hmm. know, obviously now residing in, yeah. in Germany, and this is going to be an absolutely classic game, yeah. I think. And they have started with a flyer, both of them, two straight wins. Yeah, they both won their so, first two games. Yeah. I mean, Germany beat Belgium 1 0, and then they mm -hmm. beat Azerbaijan 6 1. Mm -hmm. Turkey beat Kazakhstan 3 0, and then they had a real thriller where they came out 3 2 in, in advance of um, Belgium. Mm. Identical odds uh, as in Portugal, Denmark here. It's 155 on Germany. 625 on Turkey and 365 on the draw. Yeah. If we look at uh, Group B, Ireland Russia, that's a very interesting match. It's uh, even quite even also 255 on Ireland, 28 on Russia, and Russia yeah. is under pressure. They are a losing at home to Slovenia in the yeah, last match. Absolutely. Well, it was Slovakia actually. They lost Slovakia, one nil too. Yeah, there's not, not much between it's Slovakia, Slovenia, <laughs> but it was Slovakia just so we don't upset anybody. <laughs> and of course, then they had a sort of. 2-0 win away, away at Andorra, which is yeah. hardly convincing, no. is it? And then again, the Irish, uh, I really do feel that the Irish are capable of getting something out of mm. this game, and I think that 255 looks very attractive. You know, yeah. they, they won away in Armenia, which is not an easy place no. to go, no. and then they beat Andorra 3-1 at home, so mm. they, did a, they did enough. Yeah. They have a chance, it's 255 on Ireland, maybe that's mm. the depth of the evening to do this Friday. Yeah. In uh, Group C, we have Northern Ireland. Italy also wants to flag for a high odds there on Northern Ireland if you fancy them. It's six times the money. Uh, Italy pays 158 uh, away. Well, again, I haven't seen anything that's totally convincing about the Italians. They, mm. they, they seem to wobble a bit sometimes in these qualification games, don't they? This will be a very difficult match for them. There'll be a fairly hostile partisan crowd in Northern yeah. Ireland. Yeah. And uh, Northern Ireland have only had one game so far, and they won. 1 0 in Slovenia, which was a tremendous performance, mm. really. So, yeah. this I'm really looking forward to this yeah. match. I think it'll be a really very difficult test for the Italians. It, it's never easy to come to Belfast as an No, team. no. <laughs> I will see how it is in Dublin because there is probably the, the bet of the evening, we say, Ireland at home to Russia at 2.55. Yeah. Lot of action, don't miss the live betting at expect.com. Thanks, Jonathan. Pleasure. See you.